Okay, so I'm going to show you how to deal with a child that is choking. Um, if you suspect a child is choking, that might be due to the fact that they have just been eating um, and now they looked quite panicked. It may be that they're changing colour in the face, maybe initially going um, quite red and then uh, losing colour and maybe going a little bit blue in the lips. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to ask, are they choking? Um, and just establish that they are choking so we don't unnecessarily do um, a procedure that could, could hurt them for no reason. Okay, so are you choking? Tells me, gives me the nod, he's, he's choking. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean him as far forward as I can, let gravity help as much as I can. And obviously, depending on the size of the child, uh, will allow you to do it a lot more if they're smaller. So lean them over and we're going to do uh, back blows. So right in the middle of the shoulder blades. I'm going to use the heel of my hand. So one, and check. Two, check to see if it's come out. Three, four, check. Five. So I'm going to do that five times. Okay, it hasn't been successful, so I'm going to try something else now. I'm going to try abdominal thrusts. So I'm going to find the belly button and the bottom of the breastbone and meet in the middle, make a fist. I'm going to bring my other hand over the top and I'm going to come in and up into the diaphragm to hopefully release the object. So one, check, two, three, check, four, still not successful, five, check. Okay, still not successful. So we're gonna, we class that as one cycle, so up to five back blows and up to five abdominal thrusts is one cycle. If it's not successful after that, send somebody to go and get an ambulance. And we're gonna repeat that cycle again. So up to five back blows, checking after each one. And then back to your abdominal thrust if that is unsuccessful. Okay, and just keep repeating that process. You're probably not going to be able to repeat it too many more times before the child does actually collapse. So if they do collapse, what we're going to do is go straight into CPR. Um, and unlike normal CPR, we're actually going to start with 30 compressions for the child, just because we know at this point that the breaths aren't going to get, get in, even though they do desperately need those breaths. So we're going to do 30 compressions. After your 30 compressions, We're going to have a look in the mouth, see if there's anything that we can release and then open the airway and do two rescue breaths. If one or both of them don't go in, don't worry, go back to your 30 compressions and then try again next time. Hopefully now the muscles are all relaxed, the object might have moved on its own or perhaps even by us doing the compressions it has managed to move. So we're going to continue to do that until our ambulance arrives and we need to make sure that we've also asked for a defib.